Zuniac removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... This city isn't gonna cut me any breaks. Right. So what am I meant to do about it? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any help you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Right. I feel better already. Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. Just try to be quick about it. Enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. This feels brilliant! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. So, what's this said? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? How exactly am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. So I just run up walls now, do I? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Pretty much the same thing. Crikey! This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. See? You did it! Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. You gotta be fucking joking. Just try it. Fun, but we can do better. Good. Because I found a race subroutine already in the city. Spot on. I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer. How's this race tied to the simulation? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. You lost me. It means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Hey, that time it made sense. It did the first time I said it too. Love you too, Kinsey. Lies. And what's a hot spot? Basically a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. And this is the only one? Of course not. Oh yeah! Of the blue thing. Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console. <laughs> on top again. Might as well yank shit out. Bravado for the weight percent. Ready, steady. That could have gone worse. Sorted. Um, I'm showing some strange readings close to you. Strange. It's raining bloody fire. Oh, joy. What are 
is that thing? I don't know, but it isn't reading like a normal thing. I think... I think you can integrate your code with it. Meaning? It means once you take him down, get close enough, and I think you can absorb him. Right, because I want that inside me. Hey, it worked! Yes, bravo. Perhaps my wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh, that can't be good. So with him, Kinsey. Set me up with one of those training rooms. I think I can do that. So what did I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Bone claws? Whoa! Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. That sounds awesome. Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Oh, hang on. You're not putting in people who will try to kill me. Don't worry. These are safe programs. You can't die from them. How'd that work out for you? What am I looking at? It looks like data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Shit! Hell of an entrance there, guy. I'll see if I can help with that. Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. Hold on. It looks like Zuniac added a shield to the warden code. I guess you pissed him off. Occupational hazard. Now how do I get around it? You'll need something more powerful than a weapon. So use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him.